The sled dog race from White Horse in the Yukon in Canada to Fairbanks in Alaska is one of the most grueling sled dog races in the world. Even though the Yukon Quest is a tough test of endurance for both the dogs and the mushers who come from all over the world, Quest addicts return year after year to prove that they can complete and hopefully win this 1600 kilometer race. It's 9 o'clock in the morning in White Horse in the Yukon in Canada. The temperature is minus 28 degrees, <clears throat> it's cold, and uh, we're two hours away from the Yukon Quest race. <laughs> Members of the public can just walk around and talk to the mushers and learn about why they want to come and do this amazing race. My name is Thorsten Kona. I'm coming from Sweden and run for the fourth time. Oh, right. And um, why do you do this each year? <coughs> Best race I know. Great trip. That's why I do it. And what do you are you a musher normally? Is that your job? Yeah, come on. <laughs> hey, shh, knock it off. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, car race, I'm doing tours. Oh. Lines and, yeah. Yeah. and did your dogs come from Sweden? Yeah, but a lot of them they're staying in Alaska until next year with a friend. Okay. Are you going to win? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think so, but I do my best. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Ed Steelstra from McMillan, Michigan, and I'm a rookie in this year's Yukon Quest. Are you going to win? No. No, no. My goal is I'm traveling with a friend, Laura Neese, and we're going to take 11 to 12 days, hopefully and uh, have some fun with the dogs, experience some of the culture, see the countryside, and uh, hopefully feel a little bit of the history of this area. Fantastic, and why did you enter? It's really the challenge, I've never run the Yukon Quest, and I've done a lot of different races, and this is one of the premier races in our sport, so I, I definitely need to. Fantastic, are you ready? Yeah, I think so. Excited? I think so. Yeah, definitely excited. It's gonna be a great journey, no doubt about it. Uh, my name is Yuka, I'm a dog musher. Uh, Where are you from? I'm oh, from Japan. And how long have you been a dog musher? I started in 98, so... Okay. Uh, 18 years? Uh, we're all veterinarians for the race. Yeah. So we're gonna take care and watch the dogs hour throughout the race at all the checkpoints. Oh, fantastic! Mm -hmm. oh. So we'll hopscotch along the race, following the mushers as they go. There are 21 teams with 14 dogs in each team. Along the way there are nine checkpoints and a bed waiting for the musher if he or she chooses. However, the mushers are not required to stop at all the checkpoints and many choose to camp out on the trail in their sleds while their team of dogs curl up alongside them in beds of hay.
Okay, you're out. Eight, four, you can eight, call seven, and I'm trying to six, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Out. After leaving Whitehorse, we headed out of town and just managed to catch teams 20 and 21 sledding along a frozen river en route to their first checkpoint at Braeburn. It so happens musher number 20 was 25-year-old Matt Hall who won the race in 10 days, 1 hour and 7 minutes. Arriving in Fairbanks on the 14th of February, he came in hours ahead of his nearest competitors. Go Matt!